Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Man the Maker. Welcome back to Thea 2, The Shattering. Where are we? Well, we last episode, last episode, maybe the episode before, new recording session, as always, it's a little bit, you know, takes a little bit of time to get one's bearings back together, but we did go and talk to these people and they were like, hey man, this guy over here, he's led us astray. He's taking us towards the light. No, 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 we're all about that balance, right? Zariah, um... All about that balance. So, we need to uh, keep things in accordance. We did have a level up, uh, which we can go ahead and do. And she is actually, I mean, it doesn't tell you here, but I did just kind of look. She's an apprentice hunter. So presumably she can become a hunter. She has a crossbow. I mean, boosting up her perception with the plus two is always great. I think we're going to go for it. Easy peasy, done. Now the question is, I was having some thoughts right before I started recording. Our morale is blasting up right now. It's it's quickly. It's quite quite impressive <laughs> how high that's going up. That's because we're using all foods now. If I limit this, it's only plus four. It's only plus four. But do I need to be plus nine? I mean, we could boost it up here, but then things might start to. Fall, right? I feel like you use this stuff up much more quickly, and I'd rather save them and just have it be kind of like a little bit more, a little bit more long-term plan. Instead of getting that short, the quick boost now, have my raw ingredients ready to be cooked. I think is is kind of what we want to do here. Um, there's also the question of do we move? Now it's going to take two turns for us to gather anything. Presumably, uh, just also not great for that. Um, they are my gatherers. We're not currently crafting anything. We don't really have anything to craft. I'm not researching anything. That's just fine. I do have three research points, and I think we're getting to the point where we're going to want to kind of level ourselves up a little bit. Um, one thing is I am a bit scared about these guys here. So, I mean, the question is, I, I don't think we can run away from them. Potentially we could move around, but I want to I want to get the food if I'm gonna stay here. I can't get any of this other stuff. Um, there is something to be said about learning um, how to use malachite and gold, the wild resource. And you're you're not a special resource. You're just a, a base. What what is the deal with the malachite here? Yeah, you're basic, you're improved, and you're wild. I don't really know what those mean. Does that, that mean like you you want to try and find one of these over Malachi? Are they better? Are they just like better in some way? I don't know. I don't really know that. If you know, please do let me know down below in the comments. But I'm getting to the point where I really would like to do that. Um, like to start unlocking the next tier stuff and try and find a place where we can start crafting a little bit of gear you know settle down for a bit of time and uh take care of that well, you know there's some pretty interesting stuff over here quartz malachite meh it's setting up over here i mean we don't need to be permanent right we don't have to be permanent necessarily not for a while setting up over here gives us quite a bit of variety in food i think we're already over there plus we could extract this terrain artifact but it's just food, right? It's just morale. I want to get next tier stuff. And really, if we can find somehow, like this, triad wood and quartz. Two things. Where are you? Are you actually located here? I think so, on that mountaintop. I'm getting ahead of myself. What we do, we're gonna go and do this quest before anything else, so. Question is, do we hang on and wait for the food? I don't think we do. I think we break camp, if I'm allowed. And I think we just pick up and move. Uh, or no, we are actually, we're out of movement. Okay, great, we're gonna camp here. <laughs> and we're gonna try and, uh, well, it looks like just one, one turn. One turn's worth of fish, that's fine. You guys don't even need to do that, it's, it's okay. Um, I don't think I'll be able to get any research done in any amount of time. No, certainly not. Same thing here. So we'll just do that. We can do some more cooking. What do we have the least of? 
fish cake. Can we make more fish cakes? I would like to. So you're probably this and this. Fish cake indeed. Confirm. Set you up to just pound out a whole bunch of them. And we're going to wait here one turn. Probably get attacked by these guys. I don't know. Let's find out. The traumatic events of the last few days made it clear your child is a child no more. Silly Rad, you've leveled up. She can become a hunter. We don't have a healer. But we don't have a hunter either. I think we will make you a hunter. Your perception is pretty high. Highest by far. Okay, perception it is. The journey of the hunter is dark and filled with danger lurking at every corner. What's going to happen? Nothing bad, unlike 10. Wow, 10 perceptions. Silly rad. Was this a boy? Yeah, perhaps it was. Or maybe they just don't conform to gender norms when they were young. Maybe. Um, all right, silly rad. Pretty, pretty badass perception there. Also, not too bad on the intelligence. We don't want to kind of pay a little bit of attention to you. I mean, we have you with the bow already. Right, which is perfect. Seems to do very uh, little damage here. Um, do I need to select you? There we go. 12 damage. Not bad. Not bad with the uh, ranged attack there. We also have the dark gathering tool. Probably fine. Your gathering is okay. And you're carrying crow. Increasing perception. Great. <sighs> question is what do we kind of need now i mean we've got people with okay intelligence right a lot of people with okay intelligence kalina you have the highest and then we don't really have anybody with super high mysticism maybe me yeah okay so our misses are like uh Oh, is it spiritual? Yes. The spiritual we are kind of lacking, which I do often find to happen. We may really want to look at like trying to mold somebody into another spiritual character. Because I believe we have quite strong... Yeah, Kalina, you're pretty good in the mental uh, field. Vedemir as well, I think he does. He does pretty well. Yeah. I mean, just having the, the, mist, the wisdom so high does help boost that up. Ideally, if any way, Neostoy, we could mold you to have high mysticism. That would be great. Heck, even even you, Miladrog, with your Amber Club here. Not really an effective weapon. But we don't have anything else to even give you right now. So well, that's going to be it. And, uh, okay, great. Nice. Um, we will pick it up. We picked up. Made a whole bunch of these things. Picked up a little bit more fish. Let's carry on our way. Uh, one thing I want to check. We've gone down. Now, it says your morale gain is trending up. So why did we drop in morale category? I mean, 56 plus 4. So why would we go down? I'm not quite sure I get it, but okay, well, no mind, no matter. Let's just pick it up and move. Where can we go to? Out to here? Seems good. Seems like we can uh, pick up some more foodstuffs here. So yeah, great. Go for it. We got, we have lots, lots of fuel. We can always use more food, so. Uh, how much grain and fruit do we have? We're low on fruit. Very low on fruit. So we're going to want primarily the grain to be acquired. Boop, boop. Fruit takes much less time, huh? We'll have to stay here for two turns. It's a shame. We're very close. Still two turns. Not much we can go ahead and do about that, though, is there? I think we do just hang out for the two turns. There's nothing I really want to build. 
I mean, a crafting tool? Craftsman's aid, yeah, these aren't very great. A little bit better. And even better. So this does kind of confirm. These are both level two, are they? No, clay is almost certainly level one. This is probably level two. Could make a craftsman's aid giving us a big bonus as well as just increasing our base crafting. Would be nice to have somebody else kind of contributing to this. No, I feel like gathering is, is still where we're hurting the most. We need improvements to our gathering. And you guy with the funny hat, you have it already, don't you? You do not. Well. Maybe we go ahead and boost your gathering. Can you use the dark wood? Hundred and thirty per cent or three point two. Hundred and thirty per cent or three point two. And his gathering is what? No, I want here. Yep, couldn't handle it. <laughs> that's that's fine. Uh you, you're gathering. It's a five point six, so the flat bonus is definitely the way to go there. Okay. Okay. We will boost you up, Betamir. Now, I know we're using our good stuff for this, right? We're using our high-quality materials, but I feel like it's always kind of... Oh, I, I, have, uh, I have crashed the game, apparently. Well, we can save as an autosave. Bloop. And I guess we're going to have to just go ahead and restart uh, the game. A bit unfortunate, but uh, that's fine. I mean, I, so here's the deal. I, I can use this to kind of plot myself out a little bit. Let's just go ahead and let the game reboot. We are synced back up. We can launch it. Move the menus a little bit slower, right? I got it. I also realize I'm yammering my mouth for like 15 minutes uh, already for, for this Let's Play with very little done. But that's okay, right? I mean, this game is a thoughtful game. That's uh, that's why we like it, after all. So I feel like investing in the gathering early on, instead of saving these dark wood and quartz and all this stuff um, for weapons or armor or rings or whatever have you, it's, uh, it makes a little bit more sense to me to boost up our gathering, right? Because the thing that holds us, and even crafting, because I mean, at this point, the thing that holds us back the most is time constraints. It's less about us not having enough thing. I mean, well, I haven't even researched anything uh, at the moment. So, you know, that, that does kind of make sense. But um, having the gathering to be able to make a large number of things is really what kind of holds us back. Once we're in a place where we can actually gather these things, we're going to gather a whole bunch. We're going to settle down and we're going to want to gather a lot of things as quickly as we can. And we're going to be more blocked by that, I think, than the diversity of resources, right? We're going to find a place where we can go ahead and get all the good stuff. We're going to get the good stuff and then we're going to make it. That's the plan, at least. I mean, is this uh, the best plan? Not sure. Um... Let's go ahead and see if we can load up this save on quit. Yeah, so that's the plan, right? I, I do tend to like to kind of invest in boosting this up a little bit early on. And then once I find a place where I can really settle in, you know, that's when we spend our research. And that's when we start using these things that we will be gathering to actually make some powerful things. Perhaps I'm wrong. Not sure. Let's go and take a look. Everything should be ready. I should be able to just shut up. And, uh... There, well, we do have to make this task. Should be able to just shut up. Let's let's see now. Which is the better way to go? It doesn't actually tell you the exact... 22.3. Uh, now, is it better this way? Oops. 18.9. No, it's not. 
Yeah, all right. Well, then we'll use our dark wood. Blam. We are going to go just with the, the flat increase. Yeah. We'll go with, we'll just go with the gatherers aid, I think. 121%. It's pretty dang good. No, we'll just go with the flat and see how long it actually even takes. Three turns. We'll hang out for three turns. I'm okay with that. Gather up some food. Blammo. End the turn. Probably get some people who can be cooking. That's fine. You track down Tzbegnia, the heretic chosen who angered his gods. He spots you and speaks up. Oh, a new chosen. Come to smite me, have you? Admit that is one of the leading options. You're honest. Good. Let me tell you, though. Your puny gods can suck it. I've had enough. Sounds really angry, and the gods also seem unusually involved. What exactly did he do? I stopped. I was fed up with doing their dirty work. I lived my life, and then when light came knocking, I answered because I liked their side better. Not until you will not harm him, for you believe it is not your place to interfere with the course of fate. That was weak and worthless, and the gods have no time for such vermin. Example needs to be set. Kill him. Tell him you can soothe his broken soul, for clearly he has suffered and lost his way out of the life to guide him back to the divine light. I... I've never done this. I've always done like vengeance upon him or something. Let's let's see what happens with this. We will not interfere. He leaves a last in your face. Their door was pierced. Interesting choice doing nothing. Hmm. I'm not convinced the gods had this in mind when they sent you, but who am I to know? Now I leave you to your own devices and the gods will surely call upon your services again. But for now, please stay alive. Okay. Maybe I would have gotten more stuff if I had done things. I, I don't know. Oh, it's windy. Characters lose all... One sanity and two faith each turn. But I think that's only outside of a camp. And we are inside of a camp right now, so we should be okay. Hunislav here. You are my fighter. Oh, that's beautiful. That is beautiful. Uh, we will set up a little bit of cooking while we're hanging out here. Um, let me turn this back on, please. We can set up some cooking. Very bad cooks. Very, very bad cooks. We can do this. And we can do that. Make some more sandwiches. Two turns, but that's fine. That two turns will allow us one more uh, to build this. Yes, indeed. Great. We'll just let the time pass. And then we'll kind of carry on. Active quest curve game. That should finish us up here. Now, I, I want to check and see. Have we lost um, any sanity? should really learn these hotkeys as well. Um, he makes sense. No, yeah, well, actually, yes, it doesn't matter. It actually doesn't matter. That is too bad. Okay, well, we need to be aware of that. What can, what do we need to do with our ritual? We can use basically anything. Okay. Food and some resources. Okay, because you can use a ritual to uh, rejuvenate some of your things. Now, we did pick this up, right? That's great. Let's go ahead and equip it. No, here. Uh, you, my friend. Ah. <gasps> You can't. You can't carry it. Because you're at your carry limit. Who can carry it? Someone else who's uh, pretty good? I guess you're better at crafting. I'd rather keep you crafting. You are the crafter. I mean, Hunislav. So the rat already has this one. Uh, yeah, I guess it's you. Great. Welcome. Welcome to the team. You are now uh, twice as good at gathering as you were before. Great. Great, great, great. Um, we are going to pick ourselves up and move and go check out this one. I thought this was actually the quest, but apparently not. Oh, this is the other quest. Interesting. Leopold's directions lead you to a small pond. This is where the ever-elusive Kmuch lives. From what Leopold said, finding his friend will be the challenge here. Demon or perception? Kmuch are attuned to suffering. If you hurt yourself and try to make it look and feel real, it may come to you. <laughs> sure. 
Watch something moves in a bush nearby. You feel you're being watched. Tell them of the scack you met and the curve game that you need to get into. You see the Kamuch watching you from afar, but unwilling to come closer. Tell him these demons are hurting you and others for fun. Surely he'd like to help, if not you, then his own friend? Or we try and catch him, or we offer some fruit. I think we take the challenge. I think we could actually do this, too. Let's see. It's us against Warex. It's got nine on the uh, wisdom, is it? never remember the names of these stats but i think we are um a little bit better than uh than them like you my friend you can come out quite strong oh that's just with your bow though you my friend also with a ranged weapon do i really have two people with ranged weapons here or you you can just do a weapon attack right there. That seems great. Yeah, he does deal a fair amount of damage. But I think we're going to be able to beat the crap out of him pretty effectively. Yes. You just go back there. I think we're going to save our points. Because if we can just have him go before you, which you will once, and then if I use this and give you minus 3.2, you will go before him again. And we will definitely be able to kill you before you even act. What did that do? That made you something well you're still slower than both of my archer dudes so not going to worry about it um, i'll just summon a boar out here because i can sure deals one damage we'll put the rat out let him show off yeah sure sure rat hit the field there buddy other than one downside of having this many, like so many people in your party, you actually don't get to pick who shows up. So you could end up screwed without any of the people that you want when you're in such a large group. That went fantastic for us, though, I will just say. Hey, our child here has got ourselves a little mental blessing. Comes because we're reluctantly fine. They told me I was too slow to play with them, so I will get you in. Show them. How can you get me in? Well, I suppose I'll have to come with you. The tooth will show you the entrance, and I will also arrive at that time. Hands you a bloody human tooth. Thank him and leave. Nice. Everyone gets a little bit of a mental blessing because we passed a mental challenge. I now know this. Great. That is done. Now, can come back over here and like do more stuff with these guys. Is there a logbook? Yeah, Theodore is done. Not too happy that I didn't probably do much. Uh, I just let the other guy go. But you know, maybe I don't know. Can can we side? Can we side with the light? How if I know? Um, you guys, you're gonna want to just pick it up and leave. What's over here? There's quartz, coal, and malachite. Pretty decent uh, location to set up over here. I think we're just going to keep on exploring. And we will set up camp. Probably just do some cooking. What are we low on? Pickles? A little bit low on pickles. A little bit low on sandwiches. Yeah, how, how are we losing so much morale? I mean, it says we're trending upwards, but we're actually plummeting in morale. You can use raw food. Yeah, fine. Use all the raw food. I don't know why they're they're going down so much in morale. Is it the wind? Maybe. Well, we can make more pickles. We can make more sandwiches. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, pickles. It's you first. And then you. And we can make more sandwiches, so we will. 
you first, and then you. I actually don't want her to like make everything, which I feel like she will. No, it's fine. Go ahead. Go ahead and just make everything. And we'll just end our turn and uh, carry onward. Oh, that's actually the end of the episode. So even if we get attacked, we're still going to end it here. And they, uh, oh, an adventure has begun, but we are out of time. So, my friends, we're going to end this episode here. Next time, we're going to go and see what is going on with uh, this Hotchlick here. You were sent by Leopold, yeah? Maybe I pay you and you kill that annoying twat. I'm not going to do that. I'm loyal to Leopold because I like his name. So, hope you guys stick around till next time. My name is Man the Maker. Take care, everybody. Have a wonderful day.